we're at a place where trust, as we all know, is at an all time low at our institutions, in the media. Um, what's, what's fact? What's truth? What's really important when we think about uh, social trust, it really is grounded on, in many ways, social capital. Trust is knowing that people aren't kind of giving you BS. And that's where I think, especially when we, th at the, the class divides and the power divides on institutions, families and people can, they can smell, they can sense when a corporation is not being honest. They can sense that with an elected official and with one another. And it's words and actions, but it's really then also calling for a new form of accountability and transparency. When a government is saying, we believe in early childhood, or we want, we love families, we support families. Well then let's make sure from the very beginning, there is accessible, quality, culturally resident healthcare so that any mom, parent, birthing one can go get prenatal to postnatal services from the very beginning. This um, kind of moment of opportunity around social trust is, is really not just what we do, but how we do it. Our country, our founding fathers, I don't know, created the United States of America on native land, sovereign land, tribal land. Our U.S. Constitution, many of us were not included. And so when we think about social trust, that how we construct that conversation might feel very different depending on what organization, identity, experience, um, we enter it in different ways. To start those conversations a little differently and maybe starting with listening versus telling, we might actually start to see our social trust really begin to rise.